Nike stock, ticker symbol NKA. This stock is down 11% on the year-to-day chart, underperforming the S&P 500. And the recent drop is because of the earnings. Nike presented quarterly earnings yesterday where they beat on both the EPS and revenue by a decent margin. But for the upcoming earnings, all analysis expect a miss. And people love Nike stock because of multiple reasons. One of the things being the dividend, and I understand why with dividend yield at 1.5%, which is a decent number, and a decent growth track record. If we look at the past 5 years, we see that Nike was beating the S&P 500 for quite some time. But ever since 2022, Nike only went down. So could this be the perfect time to buy Nike stock? Or aren't we near the bottom? Well, by the end of the video, I will give you my three price targets. So make sure to stay tuned and see how I build up to these price targets. And more importantly, which price target is the most justified in my opinion? I'm very excited to see what you guys think about this stock. So please let me know your thoughts in the comments. My name is Thomas and this is Thomas Invest. I'm an investor looking for great stocks at great prices. So what does Nike do? Nike is the largest athletic footwear and apparel brand in the world. Key categories include basketball, running and soccer. Footwear generates about two thirds of its sales. Its brands include Nike, Jordan and Converse. Nike sells products worldwide through company owned stores, franchise stores and third party retailers. The firm also operates e-commerce platforms in more than 40 countries. Nike reported a revenue of 12.4 billion, of which Nike Direct generates 5.4 billion. Nike brand digital sales decreased 3%, which is kinda disappointing to see. Wholesale revenue went up 3.3%, reported at 6.6 billion. Gross margin increased 150 BPS to 44.8%. Selling and administrative expenses increased 7% and this is something that I don't like. And here we see that revenue is flat year over year, which is again disappointing to see. Gross profit increased as mentioned before and so did the expenses, which is something that I don't like of course. EPS is going down 4% year over year, also not looking any good. And it's the same story with the net income. And here we see that North America is by far the biggest segment and footwear is the biggest sub-segment. Revenue increased 4% here. Looking really good. In total, North America went up 3%. However, Europe went down 3%, which is not looking any good. Greater China and Asia went also up 3 and 5% respectively. And now that we know a bit more about the company, it is time to check the fundamentals of this stock. But first, if you made it this far into the video, I want to thank you a lot for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to receive multiple analysis every week. And also join my Discord channel for free to meet other people within the community and to talk about stocks. It's completely free, so don't miss it out. Let's continue by diving into the fundamentals. Nike is a 142 billion market cap company. P ratio is at 27, indicating they are at a premium right now. Later in this video, I will show you my three price targets for Nike stocks, so make sure to watch until the end. And in the meantime, please let me know your thoughts on Nike stock. Revenue is at 51 billion, and in this graph, we see that revenue went up in the long run. And this is one of the main reasons why I like this company so much. In my opinion, they have a big move and they are capable of growing the revenue at a decent amount. However, most recently, revenue growth is slowing down. Margins are going up and down in the past decade. And after seeing some lows most recently, the margins is increasing again. I expect this trend to continue from here due to the fact that they are cutting the middleman. EPS is pretty much the same story as the margins. It is going up, but not really steady and consistent. Analysis expect that EPS will grow at 10 to 18% in the coming years, which is looking really good to me. 
For the revenue, analysis expects some decent growth between 5 and 10% on average. It is expected that Nike will hit 70 billion in 2028. Return on assets is sitting at 14%, which is a great number. Return on equity looks really good, and the most important number, return on invested capital, is sitting at roughly 19%, which is a great number. It is slightly lower versus the 5 year average, which is something to keep your eye on. Current ratio is at 2.74, which is a decent number. It is also pretty steady historically, so this looks good to me. Right now Nike has 12 billion in debt, and I prefer companies that can pay down at least a big chunk of their total debt, with the total cash. Nike has 10 billion in total cash, so they can pay down a big chunk of their debt. To me this is a really good sign, and also one of the main reasons why I like them so much. But it is still very important that free cash flow is growing, since this is used to pay down debt of course, but also to buy back shares, pay dividends and all other things. And here we see that free cash flow is going up in the long run, but it is not always steady and consistent. Shares outstanding are decreasing in the long run, which is something that I really like. However, you could argue if this was the smartest thing to do when the stock is at a premium. When shares outstanding are decreasing, it increases your ownership in the company, increases the EPS, lowers the PE ratio, and makes it easier to maintain and increase the dividends. And since we're talking about dividends anyways, dividend yield is sitting at 1.5%, which is a decent number. I would love to see a higher number here, but it is still looking pretty good. Annual payout is at $1.48, and payout ratio is at 40%. I'm not sure why Seeking Alpha is not displaying the payout ratio here. I prefer 50% or lower, so right now they have 60% left in cash to buy back shares, pay down debt, do acquisitions and all other things. The 5 year growth rate is at 11%, which is a great number. They have increased the dividends for 11 years in a row, which is also pretty impressive. And if you take a look at these numbers, the dividends paid since 2012, you see that Nike did increase the dividends at a high pace. It is also looking really consistent. Parent ratio is a very important metric with dividends. It tells you if the dividends are safe. And here we see that historically it looked really good. The range of 30 to 50 is a range where I'm really comfortable. In this graph we see the expected dividends in 2023, 2024 and 2025. Of course this is an estimation that can be highly impacted by results, but it gives you a rough indication. It's expected to increase at the same rate as the past couple of years. And overall these dividends look really good to me, but how about the historical returns? I decided to compare Nike stock with the overall market, in this case the S&P 500. On the 5 year chart we see that Nike underperformed the S&P 500 big time with only 20% return including dividends. The S&P 500 is sitting at 103% return. However, Nike was capable to beat the S&P 500 from 2020 to 2022, so that's really interesting. On the 1 year chart things look pretty bad for Nike with minus 18% return while the S&P 500 is sitting at 33% return. On the 6 month chart it is again looking interesting, because Nike managed to get a 3% return, but the S&P 500 is still outperforming them massively with 22%. On the 1 month chart it is the S&P 500 that is winning again with 3% return, and Nike is sitting at almost minus 10%, also due to the recent earnings. Bottom line, Nike was beaten by the S&P 500, in the long run and in the short run. So could this be the perfect time to buy Nike stock? Well, let's check the 3 price targets that are created using the Everything Money software, which is one of the best tools out there. I'm using a low, mid and high assumption to get the 3 price targets, starting off with revenue growth. For the revenue growth I'm filling in 4, 6 and 8%, based on historical performance, their own outlook, but also because of the analysis. For the profit margin I'm putting in 10, 11 and 12. For the free cash flow margin I'm putting in 11, 12 and 13. For the PE ratio I'm putting in 20, 22 and 24. For the price of free cash flow I'm putting in the same numbers. 
They have a big moat in my opinion, and I'm willing to pay a premium for that. My desired annual return is 12.5% since I can get an easy 10% average annual return with owning an ETF. Right now Nike stock is around $94. I hit analyze and we see a lot of red numbers. We have a low price target of $51 to $56. We have a mid price target of $69 to $76 and we have a high price target of $94 to $102. To me the mid to high price target is the most justified here telling me that this stock is looking overvalued. Which price target do you think is the most justified? Let me know in the comments down below. My final conclusion is that Nike really needs to step up from here. I think most fundamentals look really good, but the margins need to increase and revenue needs to increase again. These two things are the most important to me. From a dividend point of view things look pretty interesting with a decent yield and growth number. It is also looking really safe to me. From a value point of view I'm getting more excited as the time passes by. The company keeps on improving and the stock price goes down. This could be an ideal scenario. However, I want the company to improve better, faster and more consistent in some areas. For now I'm skipping this stock, but I will keep a close eye on them because they have one of the bigger modes in my opinion. So it could be a great stock to own, but of course at a better valuation. And remember to always do your own research and never fully trust on what I or other YouTubers say about the stock. I'm not a financial advisor and this content is just for entertaining purposes only. I hope you liked this video and I did bring some insights of the company to you. I would really appreciate a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to get notified when I'm posting a new video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.